We've made some important upgrades to our website, so we put together a new video to walk you through the plan submittal process. In addition to showing you how to submit a plan, we'll also show you how to resubmit your corrections after disapprovals. The first thing you'll do is log into your dashboard. There are a couple of ways to submit a plan, but the easiest way is to come over here to the left and click on Start a Project. Fill out the information for the plan starting with the new Remodel dropdown. As you fill it out, more dropdowns will pop up depending on what you select. For this example, I'm going to do a residential alteration. And let's build a new deck. Your contact info should already be there, make sure it's correct. Scroll down, then put in any extra comments that you think will be helpful, like the scope of work. Remember, the more details and instructions you provide, the better. Then, scroll down and put in the address for the property. Then, the owner info should auto-populate over to the right. The last thing you'll need to do on this screen is put in the project valuation. This number should be the valuation for the proposed project. For reference, see section 108.3 in the Regional Building Code for the definition of valuation and what is included. Once you have your project valuation in there, click on Save Changes. That will take you to the next screen where you can see you now have an electronic plan number. But as you can see, the status is incomplete because you haven't uploaded any plans yet. For that, scroll down to the bottom and click on Add Images. Depending on the type of project you are submitting plans for, you'll have a different set of requirements. The plans must be a PDF, and it's important to separate the plan image types. Do not combine them all and try to submit one giant plan set. It just won't work. Attach the site plan PDF under the site plan line, architecture plans under architecture plans, and so forth. To upload the plans, you can click on the Choose File button and do it one at a time, or you can simply drag and drop the files in like this. Then, if you want to add comments, you can do that here in this section. Once you're done, go ahead and hit Upload Files. Once you have everything uploaded, scroll down to make sure it all uploaded correctly. You can see that here. The last thing you'll want to do is then click on Submit Plan. This is really important and something a lot of people actually miss. You must hit Submit Plan and that will send it off to our triage team for processing. Our triage team will look over your plans and make sure you have all of the documents and all details needed for that particular type of project. If they find a problem or something is missing, they will reject it and send you an email letting you know why. For now, let's assume the submittal was done correctly. If accepted by triage, you will get an email letting you know. If your project doesn't require a plan check fee ahead of time, it will automatically move on to the plan review team and the plan check fee will be added to your permit. If your project requires a plan check fee ahead of time, a bubble notification will pop up over your financial button like you see here. If you're ready to pay those plan check fees, simply click on the financial button, find the plan that you're ready to pay those plan check fees, and then slide over to the right and click on pay this fee. Once you've paid, the plans will then move on to the plan review department. In an ideal world, your plan will be approved on the first review. If that's the case, you are now ready to obtain the permit. However, if our plan reviewers find a problem, the plan will be disapproved and you'll need to make corrections and resubmit. We'll show you how to do that right now. When a plan is disapproved, you will get an email notification that looks like this. You'll also have a bubble notification pop up on your plans button like you see here. When you click the plans button, you'll get a list of the disapproved plans at the top. The easiest way to review the red lines is to click on the new resubmit button. 
That will take you to this next page where you will then click on the next button, view disapproved review images. That will take you directly to the red lines. When you make the necessary corrections and you are ready to resubmit, you'll simply come back to your dashboard, click on plans, then hit the new resubmit button. This new feature should make it even easier to resubmit corrections because at that point, you just repeat the uploading images process, but only for the disapproved disciplines. When it comes to resubmittals, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Be sure to submit the entire plan set for each disapproved trade, not just the revised sheets. So in this example, if the civil plan set was originally five pages long, resubmit all five pages again, even if the only corrections are on page two. The last thing you need to do, don't forget, and this is really important, submit plan yet again. And that's it. That's how you submit an electronic plan and how you make corrections if needed. Hope this helps.